prokaryotic cell reproduces by dividing, creating two identical cells. This process is called cell division, or binary fission. The rate of replication varies between different types of bacterial cells. E. coli cells are preferred for laboratory experiments because they divide in a matter of minutes. In nature, bacterial cells grow in a variety of settings. In a laboratory, bacterial cells are typically grown either on a solid medium called agar or in liquid broth. Bacterial cells that replicate on a solid surface pile on top of other cells, forming a visible spot or colony. Bacterial cells that replicate in liquid culture will float, giving the culture a cloudy or turbid appearance. For cell reproduction to occur, cells need to have the right nutrients, acidity, temperature, oxygen, and moisture. These conditions are easily controlled in a lab, making bacteria a popular choice for large-scale protein production. For example, E. coli are used to produce large amounts of insulin for diabetic patients. Bacterial population growth occurs in four stages. Progression through these stages is regulated by the availability of space and nutrients in the environment. The first stage is known as the lag phase because although the cells are dividing quickly, the number of cells is still small. If an initial E. coli cell culture started with one cell, after two and a half hours of growth, there would be more than 500 cells. Growth during the lag phase is slow because of the low number of bacterial cells replicating and the time needed for bacteria to synthesize the proteins needed for replication. After about the 10th generation, the cells go through exponential growth. The population begins to increase rapidly as each round of cell division adds thousands or millions of cells to the population. There are finite amounts of life-sustaining nutrients and space available in the culture medium. When these resources are depleted, the rate of cell division slows dramatically. Cell division continues to decline until the rate of cell growth equals the rate of cell death. This growth equilibrium is called the stationary phase. After a period of time in the stationary phase, the cells will use up all available resources, causing cells to die at a rapid, steady pace, signaling the death phase. When scientists use bacterial cells to produce proteins, they allow the cells to grow through the exponential phase to maximize the number of cells produced. Just before this stationary phase, the cells will be induced, meaning a chemical is added to the growth medium to force the cells to produce the protein of interest. The chemical is often a specific nutrient or small molecule that regulates the promoter for the gene of interest. This is done just before the stationary phase, so the cells will devote most of the cellular resources to producing the protein of interest rather than continuing to divide. By understanding the process of binary fission and phases of culture growth, scientists have harnessed bacterial cells as protein production factories and made them a common tool in research and industrial labs.